hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking another one of my videos so today i really quickly want to answer a super super common question i get on my channel and that question is how do i make my press on nail packaging card guys i think i've seen this question probably over 200 times on my channel so today i finally want to answer that and show you exactly how i made my press on nail packaging card first of all let me give you a close-up of the cards themselves So how exactly did I make these cards? So the main answer is I designed these cards by myself and then I printed them off via Vistaprint. So I think the best way for me to show you how I made the cards is to screen record the whole process and you'll get to see how I designed the cards and then transfer them onto Vistaprint. Okay, so believe it or not, I made my design first on PowerPoint. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how I did it. The first thing I did was go on view so I could add on the ruler and the guides just so I can position my design exactly in the middle. Then when I right click on my mouse, I go on format background and then choose my color, which is of course my brand color, which is like a dull-ish pink. That's the best way I can describe it. But yes, I change the background and then I add in my logo. I made my logo on Canva, which I'll show you in a few seconds. But for now, I basically just add in my logo, kind of put it in the center line and then line it just near the top. But not too much on the top and you'll see later why when I add it on Vistaprint. Then I use a text box which you can find on PowerPoint itself and I just typed in, thank you for your order, enjoy your new nails. And that's basically it. I then saved my design and then I'll transfer it onto Vistaprint. Now before I move on to Vistaprint, I also want to show you how super easy it is to make your design on Canva if Microsoft isn't the best option, which I know it wasn't because I was kind of rushing to make mine so it's not perfect. You can basically type in A6 card and then a bunch of examples will come up. Choose any random free one because all we need is the template with the sizes. And then basically delete everything on that page so it's blank and you can add in your brand colors or whatever design you kind of want to do. Canva has so many design examples so whatever you want to do you can do on there. For making my logo I basically use one of Canva's text fonts. The one I use is called Love and Joy. So I delete the text and then added in my pattern paint, press on nails and made that bigger. And then once again for the bottom text, I added in the text box and typed in thank you for your order, enjoy your new nails, lined it up at the bottom, made it bold and sized it to the size I wanted and that is basically how you can make a card on Canva. Download that and we can upload it to Vistaprint. Okay, so this is the current Vistaprint homepage. I go on marketing materials and then drop down to letters and leaflets and then add in the size which I want, which is A6, 105 millimeters by 148 millimeters. Add the fold as flat because I don't want it to fold. The paperweights, I go for the recommended because it makes the cards more sturdier. And then all of those will go into calculating your price. Depending on how many cards you want, the price will also vary. The economies of scale, the more you order, the less you pay for each card. So once I did all my settings, it's time to get started on the design. So you can either browse a bunch of templates or you can upload your own design, which is what we're going to do. But I'll quickly show you what the templates look like. So a whole bunch of A6 templates come up. And if any take your fancy, then you can easily just edit them and make your own from that. But I'm going to upload my own design and I'm going to click vertical because I want the cards vertical, not horizontal. Then you'll be directed to this page where you can edit your design. You can click on the blank template to upload your design. And here, as you can see, I already uploaded the Canva design and the the PowerPoint design so I'm gonna click the PowerPoint one since that's the one I originally used once it's uploaded you can then resize the design to make sure it fits perfectly on the card and as you do this you can see there's some helpful green lines that help you center your design so as you can see on the right there's an option to make a back design you do have to pay extra to have the back printed so that's another option if you would like the back printed but moving on my design is now ready I can go on to the next page where I can review my design and place my order the last few pages are basically confirming your specifications and then you can add your order to your basket and place your order. So there you go guys, that is exactly how I made my cards. Obviously once you've made your order for the cards, you then have to wait however long the delivery period is. I only had them delivered with Hermes, so that took around 7 to 14 days. 
But honestly, I don't remember waiting more than two weeks for these cards. Oh, and also make sure you order them in advance before they run out because delivery times may mean that you may miss out on making orders if they don't arrive on time. So just to be clear on the common question I get, I honestly can't remember the sizes of this card right now. But I'll write it down somewhere and then you will know the size of these cards. And like I mentioned previously, the designs of these cards are nothing special. I literally made the designs in these cards in less than 15 minutes. So there was really going to be nothing special about them. I knew that I wanted my logo on there and my thank you notes. I don't know if this is bad, but I really didn't want to spend extra on thank you cards so i basically just put on the thank you notes so i didn't really have to add extra thank you cards in my packaging that's basically why i added the little thank you notes and because vistaprint also had the option to print on the back i just basically plugged my instagram page so that when a customer gets their nails they'll be reminded that they can always take a picture and tag me and i can repost it on my instagram and promote it to other potential customers so i hope that answers your questions or gives you some guidance as to how you can make your own press on nail business cards Yes. Okay, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and always supporting.